The power of education to be a transformative force in society is what led Sister Maria Luisa Bersosa to become involved with Entre Culturas in the first place. Nos reunimos con las familias. We were meeting with families who had nothing, and they asked us for a school for their children. That struck me so much that when I returned to Buenos Aires, I told our director about this great need and that we had to do something. Parents are requesting a different future for their children. Entre Culturas is a non-governmental organization sponsored by the Society of Jesus. It serves over 230,000 people. It supports 192 projects in 38 countries throughout Latin America, Africa, Asia and Europe. Right now, they're focusing their efforts on the education crisis in the midst of the pandemic. We know many people can't access virtual alternatives to school. There are children who have been out of school for a long time, without food and without safety. School is often a safe place when there's violence at home. What do we need most at this time? Money for food, money to bring children back to school. But what does going back to school look like? Will it ever be the same? How do we relaunch education after the pandemic disaster? The heart of Entre Cultura's mission is to give people the chance to live with dignity, and education is the key. There are plans to address psychological and social problems and the digital divide. There are other specialized programs, too. A global solidarity is forming. The present crisis is creating global solidarity, now that we consider education a universal public good. Health is a universal public good, and its foundations are shaking. Entre Culturas is sounding the alarm about the education crisis caused by COVID-19. They say it could lead to a 30-year setback to educational advances achieved around the world. For now, they're relying on creativity to continue their investment in education, which is why they've launched Run for a Cause, a virtual race which they hope will sustain projects across 38 countries. To get involved and to support the initiative, visit entreculturas.org. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.